If Muhammad's revelations were actually from God, why did he himself say they weren't? If Muhammad's revelations were from God, how could he have been tricked into giving false revelations by Satan? If idolatry is such a serious sin in Islam, why do Muslims take a pilgrimage to the Kaaba, walk in circles around the Kaaba, bow down to the Kaaba, and kiss the black stone embedded in the Kaaba? If Muhammad is the perfect example of humanity for all people at all times, why did he support his religion after fleeing Mecca by robbing people? If Muhammad is the perfect example of humanity for all people at all times, why did he command that apostates of Islam be killed? If Muhammad's revelations were from God, why did he say that the sun sets in a muddy pool of water? If Muhammad is the perfect example of humanity for all people at all times, why did he order his followers to drink sewer water, drink water with animal carcasses in it, eat flies, and suck on each other's lips? If the Quran is the final word of God, why does it tell Christians and Jews to follow their own books? If the Quran tells us that the divine word of God wouldn't have any discrepancies in it, why does the Quran have so many discrepancies in it? If the Quran is the divine word of God and therefore perfect, why does Allah change his mind and abrogate previous verses? Why does Muhammad allow prostitution? If Muslim men are supposed to have four wives max, why did Muhammad suddenly receive a convenient revelation that said he could have nine wives? Why did Muhammad marry a six-year-old girl and then consummate that marriage when she was nine years old? Why did Muhammad cause his adopted son to divorce his wife, then marry that wife, and then abrogate the adoption all through divine revelation? Why does Muhammad consider women as less than men? Why is Allah, the God who we're supposed to revere and worship, called the best of deceivers? Why does Allah want us to sin? If Muhammad was the perfect example of humanity for all people at all times, why didn't he know if he was going to go to heaven or hell? If you claim to highly respect and honor Jesus, peace be upon him, as part of your Muslim doctrine, why is he portrayed as a failure? What are his accomplishments according to Islam? If the Quran affirms the inspiration, preservation, and authority of the gospel, why did Allah corrupt it?